It's amazing what can be achieved when you're dedicated to a quest. The quest to go beyond the ordinary, beyond extraordinary. Introducing the game-changing Quest MX. Game-changing because the Quest MX, one of very few speakers in the world to achieve an IP67 rating, is the only one in this elite group to deliver high fidelity performance to satisfy even the most demanding audiophile and game-changing for price and value. Now, hear from the experts and learn more about the extraordinary Quest MX and the entire Quest MX system. I'm an architect of some 30 years experience. Uh, I have a small practice specialising in hospitality, restaurants, bars, function venues, gaming, accommodation. Over the years as a venue designer, I found many challenges seeking to incorporate uh, successfully the audio-visual installation. There's been no consideration about how it integrates with an overall design. You seek to, uh, I suppose, build around the most difficult obstacle, the, the, the most difficult component. Um, and the, in the old days, it used to be things like fire sprinklers. Today, quite frankly, it's, it is the audio system. You can't any longer just, just throw up a groovy chandelier and stick some wallpaper on a wall and a speaker in a corner and hope, hope that's going to work. There is a high level of expectation that these environments uh, have a, a certain sort of um, uh, aspirational quality to them. The more sophisticated and more designed and more considered the components that we use are, the easier it is for us to cr create a complete whole. What the big leap forward here was, was actually the use of people who designed those spaces, those environments, having, telling us what to do, as opposed to the marketing people or the engineering people telling us what to do. For the first time, we actually listened to the customer and what they actually wanted versus what we wanted them to buy. So whether it's from the installer's perspective, the listeners, um, the specifiers, they're all people that have a saying into how the product comes to life. And so that really formed the start of the, um, the brief for us. What we've seen in the indoor-outdoor business for the last decades, uh, two decades at least, everything looks like a jelly bean. But what we hear from the actual venue designers, is that that's not what they want. One of the guiding principles here that we use was something called the golden ratio. And it's something that's found typically in nature and everywhere you look. And in short, mathematically, it's a ratio of 1.6 to 1. And what you find is that things that conform to a golden ratio, people find appealing. Because these were going into architectural spaces, light plays an Im important part on this. And so because we're looking to create essentially a chameleon, we wanted this speaker to sit within a space and exist there, not vanish, but at the same time complement. So it needed to have a presence. And so that way it was all of the subtleties in the way the surfaces on the speaker were slightly curved so that there aren't any flat surfaces. And this allows light to just cascade across the surface, giving a softness to the objects. But at the same time, there's this hard edge that wraps around the speaker that gives the highlight. The blend of soft panels and hard edges that the architects like so much about the MX presents challenges in manufacturing that mixture requires a uh, higher level of uh, tooling expertise, processing expertise. It also presents acoustic challenges because now you have to uh, build into the internal structure of the speaker um, extra features to work the acoustics of, of hard edges and, and soft panel mixtures. The architects want to have a small visual footprint, as small as possible. 
the challenges that presents to the component design is tremendous, okay? Smaller components have to work a lot harder and you have to build in their uh, robustness so that they keep working. We are some 40% smaller than a typical indoor-outdoor 8-inch loudspeaker. It takes some effort to set it up to get the balance of, of electronic functions, but once you've done it, the result is wonderful. You've got the base of a big box coming from a small box. Another thing that we've done is they use die-cast aluminum baskets, for instance, so you'd never see that in an indoor-outdoor loudspeaker. Uh, but we've done that for a couple of reasons. One is, uh, of course, acoustically they are much better, um, but more importantly in this case, they aid in thermal management. They carry, take the voice coil's heat of the now more largely stressed uh, voice coil and take that heat away and mm. dissipate it into the, uh, into the atmosphere. The tweeters in this case for instance, are not a plastic dome or a cloth dome or something like that. It's a real titanium dome. It will never age over time, whether you're in the sun or in the salt air or whatever, it will uh, sound the same 20 years from now as it did today. It also has another advantage, which is, again is thermal management. It makes that tweeter cool itself. In order to meet the environmental requirements, uh, of course, we made a sealed system. The speaker can sit underwater, uh, whether it's minus 20 degrees or it's plus 40 degrees, whether it's raining or shining or whatever it's doing. Certainly, no weather condition can affect its performance. What I find with the MX product is that it has the aesthetic and the quality that will provide for a holistic approach and a result that is satisfactory both to the designer and to the technician who is seeking an audio-visual quality that is paramount. The MX Series by Quest, changing the game in architectural sound.